as Maria said, I'm a chemist and I'm a self-confessed chemistry nerd. I think chemistry is amazing. Everybody should study it. And I think it's a really beautiful topic. So I want to tell you today why I think it's a really beautiful topic. Unfortunately, I think most people, when they hear the word chemistry, they think of things like this, big industry causing pollution. They think of, uh, you know, the poor people living beside the factories, the Aaron Brockovich type story where the chemical company is destroying the area. They think of toxic waste piling up in countries uh, like that we're all shipping our chemical waste to China and to India and to developing countries that... The chemical industry basically is this big evil empire trying to ruin the world. Also, don't have a great impression of chemists ourselves. This image was actually used by the British government to uh, turn people off drugs because they're made by crazy chemists. But I swear we're not all crazy and we are trying to do our bit to save the world. But unfortunately, chemistry is used in bad ways. Uh, This is Chemical Ali, who is known for his fondness for chemical weapons and maybe wasn't the greatest PR agent for chemistry. But as a result of all this, there's been quite a backlash against chemistry. So here we've got 100% chemical-free water, which I find absolutely amazing because water is H2O, a chemical. (laughs) We cannot live chemical-free lives because we are ourselves massive bundles of chemicals. The Royal Society of Chemistry were not happy with this, so they're offering £1 million to anyone who can produce something that's 100% chemical-free. I used to work for them. I'm telling you, their money is safe. They would not do it if they didn't think so. I'm also a green chemist, so I want to be like this little frog. Everything I do, I don't want to damage the environment, and it's where chemistry is going. We're trying to design products and processes that minimize the use of dangerous products. But even without making that effort, chemistry has always been beautiful. I'm going to go through now some examples of why I think chemistry is beautiful and some of the elements that we're actually showing in our exhibition in the Science Gallery in Dublin. So get a bit of promotion in there as well. So I'm starting with sodium. So the sodium street lamp, you'll know for its yellow glow. But the spectrum of sodium is quite beautiful and can produce this different array of colors. The sodium uh, flame test you might have done in school as well, very beautiful color. The noble gases all can be used to produce these bright signs. Las Vegas wouldn't be what it is without all these neon signs, the images flashing. Uh, Chemistry then is used to make those. Chemistry has, you know, different sides to all the elements as well. So arsenic, we all know of arsenic as a poison, but it's also used as a pigment. um, So Back a couple hundred years ago, they used to use it as a green pigment and wallpaper, and it's actually thought by some people that because Napoleon, uh, I guess his favorite color was green, and decorated his room with this wallpaper, may have actually poisoned himself with the fumes coming off his wallpaper. And so arsenic, you know, it's something we think is dangerous, but it's actually quite beautiful as well. Carbon, we all know, is the diamond ring, which is beautiful, but the future of carbon is also beautiful. So these are nano Obamas. They're millions of tiny carbon nanotubes, and you can see the scale there. They're like microns big. Uh, Platinum, again, is something we think is beautiful. The platinum ring, you know, uh, it's a nice, expensive wedding ring, but it's also a really important thing in chemistry because it's such a stable metal, so it's used as a standard for the kilogram all around the world. Copper is an element which we think of as being really commonplace, but it's actually, again, really beautiful. So this blue room here was taken with copper sulfate, was just filled in the room, and they withdrew all the liquid and left it on the wall, giving that beautiful blue color. Doing chemistry is also beautiful, I think. So this is a color change reaction where iodine and chlorine react, um, or iodide ion, sorry, react with chlorine. So you get two colorless solutions and you produce a color. Luminescence was there on the right, giving the green. This is another chemical reaction where uh, different metals react with sodium silicate and they grow up to form these beautiful trees. They're really delicate structures and they're really bright colors. And of course, chemistry is fun with all its explosions. You get to burn just a bit of iron and oxygen, make bubbles, make reactions. So chemistry can be beautiful and exciting. So please don't think about it as this horrible industry that's ruining the world. Chemistry is great.